It's going to be a quick tutorial of how to do all parts of your first uh, visual assignment. I'm choosing, it's going to also be a wiggle uh, stereoscopy uh, uh, tutorial um, using Photoshop. So I've chosen to do this visual assignment. Um, what's really nice is I can see lots of examples of people that have done it, including you also a tutorial uh, done by uh, Jim Groom. So what we're going to do is I've, I've taken a couple pictures and I'm putting them um, I've put them in, in photo, opened them in Photoshop. Uh, one of my students who has a nice little rainbow slinky. And uh, so because it's only two images, this is a quick little animation that we're going to pull off back and forth. So we need to have these both in the same file. You can see they're in one file. Um, so I'm going to just select all. So that's edit. Uh, geez, it's command A. Uh, where's select all? I don't even know. Just command A which is the command key A, and then in command C to copy. Um, and then we're going to go to the other page and say command B to paste. All right. And so now we have the two images, and we need to have our animation palette. And this is in Photoshop 5 and 6. It's annoying. There's a new palette called the timeline, but it's basically the same thing. Um, so we're going to show this animation palette, which was hiding. Where are you? Oh, it's way over on my other screen. Here we go. Uh, let's bring this over. Okay. So we have one frame. We need two frames. So we're going to say new frame, right? So we have one frame, and we want one frame to show the background. So we have the first frame showing the background. The second frame we want to have show the second photo. So two frames, two, two photos, and there we go. And I hit play and, and we're good to go. It's done. This is an easy assignment ultimately, right? Not too bad. Uh, this is a pretty big image, so we're going to resize it, image size. So we're going to make this only uh, 800 in width, so it's not such a massive file. So this is its actual size. When you see the 100% at the top, uh, that means that's the actual size for the screen. We play it again. All right. These are left with no time in between. We want it to just back bounce, so each is at zero seconds. And so we're going to save this for the web. And we want it to be a GIF. A GIF is a no, because it's an animation. GIFs are how you pull off animations, right? And we want it to loop forever. So remember to loop forever. And we say save. And we're going to call this uh, Slinky in Stereo. All right. And I'll just save this on the desktop for now or in DS6. Save. OK. So off to my blog. And I'm going to make a new post. Uh, slinky in. So I'm going to upload this first. on my desktop. There it is. With GIFs, you want to always make them full size and then insert into post. If you make them medium, you're going to get a preview and you won't see the animation in the post. Uh, the person will have to click on the image. All right. Um, I created this uh, example. Uh, wiggle, what is it called? The assignment, wiggle, copy, wiggle stereoscopy or scopy, <laughs> wiggle uh, stereoscope uh, for class today. I'm gonna fill out this post. Fill uh, more info about how to make 
it soon. Reporting a tutorial. All right, so one of the things I like to do is you should always try to link back to the original assignment. So I'm copying the URL of the assignment. Um, I highlight, I name the assignment. It's always good so people know what assignment you've done. Maybe they, they like, uh, a fellow student likes what you've done and they want to do it too. So it's really nice to link back to the original assignment so they can really easily find it. So I've linked back to the original assignment. But now the really important thing, I have to add DS106 to my all my posts that are, are um, going to go to the DS106 feed. But here's those uh, tags. So right now I need to add these two tags, and it's best to just copy them. You just copy the two tags, add them here, all right, and click Add. And now I'm feeding this post to DS106 with these two tags, and... I'm going to put this under digital storytelling and I put teaching and learning. After I'm done doing this tutorial and uploading and embedding it, I'm going to add the two tutorial tags as well so that people will, this post will show up in both places. Notice Jim Groom's post showed up metal, metal mushrooms and stereo shows up both places because it's, it's both the tutorial and the completed assignment. Okay. Um, but I'm not going to add the tutorial. I'm going to add the tutorial uh, tag after I put it in there. It's not there yet, and you can always update later. You don't. That's the great thing about any post. It can always be updated. It's not like a paper you hand it in and it's done. You can always make changes. And when your site's updated on the DS106 site, it's going to update with the new content. All right. So I'm going to hit publish. 